What Pavlovian response have you developed? My wife isn't really needy or anything so I don't want to give that impression of her, but she'll often ask for a kiss on whatever appendage is nearest to me whenever we're sitting together for a long time, long car rides, movies, etc. She used to ask, but now she just shoves her arms, legs or whatever in my face. I'm usually watching something or driving, so my focus is on that and I just started kissing on instinct at this point. I've accidentally kissed a bald man in a queue because his head came close to my face. I once kissed a colleague on the shoulder when she was leaning in to get something. I've kissed a bag of chips because my wife handed it to me and so on. I've kissed a lot of nonsense simply because I've learned to do it automatically whenever it gets shoved in my face and my mind is preoccupied with something else. My girl goes PSSSSST whenever she wants some. I get the most inappropriate boners now. Super weird. I get hungry when I smell roses. My stomach literally growls. I worked at a grocery store and the break room was just past the flower shop. Always got a whiff of roses on the way in with my lunch. That lunch commute sounds lovely. Much like Pavlov, my grandmother always rang a dinner bell every time to call everyone in the house to the dinner table. Recently, I was at my wife's family's house and one of my new cousins rang a bell on the mantel. I immediately got hungry. Finally put the two together and realized my grandmother might have been Pavlov. I would always end up reading the new Harry Potter while eating pizza. The night it came out, I now, years later, crave pizza while rereading HP. I get turned on when I open an incognito tab. I have this too. It comes with another feature. Whenever I want to use an incognito tab for something else, egg, logging into a different email account without logging out of my main one, I catch myself typing a part, or sometimes the entire website I visit for me time. Almost opened it at work once. When I was a kid we had a German Shepherd. Whenever my dad was out with us and the dog he'd whistle when it was time to go home. It sounds kinda like woo wit if that makes sense. Well my dad found that the whistle worked on his kids as well as the dog and started using it even when the dog wasn't with us. And now when I hear that whistle I stop what I'm doing and start looking for the source. My fianke had a particular song as his ringtone for a while. Whenever he was driving, or just somewhere else in the room, and it rang. He'd ask me to answer it for him. It got to the point that anytime I heard that song, I would reach for his phone. He hasn't had that ringtone for almost a year now and I still twitch when I hear it. In the same vein, my ringtone for an ex of 4 years was the generic calming harp sound that AT&T phones came with at the time. She would call me every morning to wake me up and every night we weren't together. Now whenever I hear it, since it's fairly common, I get really relaxed and mildly sad. I Whenever I go to move even a few inches away from someone while they're talking to me, I say, I'm listening without consciously deciding to do so. Growing up, almost any movement slightly away from my mom while she was talking to me was met immediately with, don't you walk away while I'm talking to you. Are you even listening? Well that's a better way to handle it. My mom did the same thing. Yet now I just refuse to move away from people while talking. Instead getting really antsy because actually saying anything like I'm listening to my mom would have gotten me in trouble so I learned to ride it out. At the end of music class, when all of the students were leaving, my music teacher used to play the wedding march, and if you didn't sit down quickly enough, he'd mock you ha ha. Janet and Steve are getting married so we all got pretty good at dropping to the floor as soon as we heard him start playing that song. You can see where this might cause some problems in later life. Okay, I'm really sorry but I find that absolutely hilarious. I can totally imagine how embarrassed it would have made me but I deal with middle school age kids regularly. Some of them think it's okay to saunter in at a wall space and it drives me crazy. I may adopt this. At my old apartment we had a bad ant problem. I read that if you can mask the trail that they leave to find their way back, you can keep them away. We used the lavender Mrs. Mayer's countertop spray and found that it worked pretty well. Now if I use anything lavender scented of that brand, dish soap, hand soap, room spray, my brain says smells like ants in my head and smell like lavender. My second grade teacher had an aquarium full of Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They always had this sharp, sickly sweet smell around them. 
possibly some sort of spray he used to cover up whatever they actually smelled like. It's a specific smell and sometimes old ladies use it as perfume. Those old ladies smell like roaches to me. When people clear their throat I automatically assume I am my trouble. My girlfriend has gotten to the point that after she clears her throat she'll usually clarify to me that she's not upset. Dang. You've induced a Pavlovian response in her. I used to use a specific alarm tone to wake up in college. Now whenever I hear it I get nauseous and anxious. My alarm that I used to wake up in high school would literally get a visceral reaction from me. So when I graduated I changed it to my mom's ringtone so I could get that same reaction when she called. My incredibly abusive father used to clear his throat as a warning that he believed we needed punishment. To this day I flinch when I hear someone doing it. Doesn't matter who. He's been dead 3 years and I don't think it will ever go away. For some reason. Spills set him off horribly and I will freak out if I knock over a glass. My husband found this out when I knocked over some grape juice and promptly locked myself in the bathroom while having a thorough panic attack. When I am trying to remember something I will snap next to my ear in tandem with saying the phrase I was going to. It helps me remember like 95% of the time. Started it as a silly little habit when I was a teenager and it stuck somehow. Is this an actual life hack? When I hear the splutter that the office coffee maker makes when it's done brewing makes me reach for the cup on my desk. Every. Time. When I first started my job I noticed that a specific co-worker would always give someone a hard candy when seeing them for the first time that day, making everyone really happy to see him. He used to do the same to me, but one day I finally asked if he was just conditioning people. Ergo I no longer receive hard candies. He's peed you figured out his game. Used to manage a McDonald's. During a shift at a new job over a year and a half later I still had the reflex to answer the phone with thanks for calling. Location. McDonald's. How may I help you? I had a roommate that worked at KFC and would talk in his sleep. Drove me crazy asking if I wanted original or extra crispy in the middle of the night. I used to sit with my hands behind my head as I watched YouTube when I was a teenager. We had a gamer cave in the basement. My chair was directly in the path from the stairs behind me to the laundry room to my left. Every single time my brother or dad came down the stairs and saw me sitting like that, they would jokingly poke me in the ribs. Because it's so funny to see you jump. Like no freaking crap. See how you would like it being poked hard in the ribs every time you relaxed and let your guard down. They did it for months. It got to the point where I could no longer sleep while lying on my left, because that meant that the right side of my back, the poking area, was exposed. I would get uncontrollable twitches and muscle spasms until I turned over again. I even started having nightmares about it. It's better now, but I still get real freaking twitchy sometimes when I'm the little spoon with my boyfriend, especially if he breathes on my back. It feels so freaking crappy to not be able to open your posture because some buttholes, that is, family members, think it's so dang funny to jab you when you're relaxing. Now whenever I get into that mode my body automatically tells itself to close itself off. I am a construction foreman. I was recently in charge of a 15 million dollar project that was extremely stressful. My phone would ring anywhere between 50 to 100 times a day. My ringtone was the iPhone old time rotary phone style ringtone. I had to change it after that job because it would trigger me every time it rang. Still does when other people's phones ring with the same ringtone or when I hear it on TV. Detective shows like Law and Order are the worst. When any kind of supervisor wants to talk, I suddenly have a ton of anxiety. Honestly, I feel like bad experiences in the army had a lot to do with that. This sucks, because I'm a supervisor at my job, and I hate seeing the anxiety when people see me around. I'm not out to get you. Been at it for 6 months and I'm finally gaining their trust and respect. Growing up. My mom would snap at us and give us a glare that we could feel even if we weren't looking any time we were misbehaving but were in a place that she couldn't pull us aside and give a full on do I need to take you outside usually church or if she was driving the car. I'm 22. My youngest siblings are 12. I still don't like to hear random snaps to this day and I'll still pay instant attention and stop what I'm doing when I hear her snapping at them despite me not doing anything wrong. Same here. 
Dad always snaps to get my attention and or he's mad at me. I hate it because it makes me feel like a dog. Whenever one of my friends snaps for some reason I always instantly whip around to pay attention. Kind of with them out until I explain why. When I was a frisky teenager I would always watch this late night TV show hosted by David Duchovny called The Red Shoe Diaries. Mostly because there was a pretty good chance of seeing some boobs in each episode. That was like 20 years ago. I'm a straight man and I still get slightly aroused at the sound of David Duchovny's voice. I have cats. Whenever I feel one of them jump on my bed I immediately cover my balls because they don't give a dang what they step on. I'm always terrified that my cat will take a swipe at my ding dong when I get out of the shower. She eyes it off like a dangly toy. I get stressed out and angry before my cat is going to be in butthole. I can feel it in my spine just before she starts scream yodeling for attention. May sound counterintuitive but don't react to the scream yodeling in any way. Completely and utterly ignore it. Don't even look at her while she does it. Cats meow at us for attention. If they no longer get attention from meowing, they'll stop. Your mileage may vary. I spent 5.5 years working in youth crisis intervention with particularly vulnerable kids. Many of them would run away, which meant I'd have to always be on the lookout while driving around. I can't stop staring down kids in public to see if they are one of mine. Such a weird sentence to write. In music theory, our teacher would always play Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On during our study time before vocab quizzes. One day he plays it and we don't have a vocab quiz and the entire class starts to freak out and our teacher is sitting at his desk laughing and says ever heard of Pavlov? Now to this day, I start to get nervous when I hear that song. That gonna be great when your girlfriend decides to play it. If I'm about to travel or go somewhere, right before I walk out the door, I have to pee. I'll get really anxious when certain songs come on the radio without immediately knowing why. It is almost always songs that had particularly difficult drum solos in rock band. How to this day whenever I hear Run For The Hills, I think ugh, that one was the only one I couldn't beat on expert. TV commercial, look at phone. Anytime someone calls and says I'm waiting out or your order has arrived etc. I just get over 100 bpm pulse, I drop everything I do and I go meet that person. When I was young my mom would always rush me and scold me anytime I wasn't fast as frick when someone arrived, not to let others wait. She also has a very high pitched voice that runs through my head anytime I'm in that situation. It fricked me up big time. My old roommate would wait until the pizza guy called her from outside to get dressed, find her keys, leave the apartment, walk down the hallway, take the elevator downstairs, and walk across the complex to the public driveway. Like 5 plus minutes, it gave me secondary anxiety and guilt. I become extremely tired when my alarm clock goes off. In high school I trained myself to throw myself out of bed when I heard my alarm. If you're not awake before you hit the ground, you will be a few seconds later. Highly recommended. I use white noise to help me sleep. Now when the cleaning lady at work uses the vacuum cleaner I start falling asleep. At my clinic, they put white noise machines in the examination rooms to help calm the patients. Imagine trying to stay awake while waiting for the doctor. They were gone by my next visit. When I was a baby, my mom would get me to go to sleep by putting me in my car seat, and then placing the car seat on top of a running clothes dryer. I turn 35 in 2 weeks, and I still get sleepy if I lean against a dryer for too long. For years I would swallow my daily birth control pill by itself, without any water. It got to the point that just looking at the pack of birth control pills would make me salivate in anticipation of needing enough spit to swallow the pill. Ro, not just classical conditioning, but actual salivation. Points for accuracy. Whenever I leave a room, I tap my left thumb to my left front pocket to check for my phone, my right thumb to my right front pocket to check for my keys, my right pinky to check my back right pocket to check for my wallet. A simple inventory check before leaving a place. Phone, keys, wallet, phone, keys, wallet, phone. Keys, wallet, P, K, W, P, K, W. I do it without thinking and if everything is in its place I'm good. 
so when I go swimming or anytime my inventory is different, and I PKW without thinking about it, I get confused for half a second and have to remind myself why. I am chronically anxious about being late for appointments, so I now show up to important and insignificant appointments upwards to 30 mins 1 hours early, because my mom made me horribly late for every important and insignificant appointment as a child, which caused me to miss out on events and or caused me to wait even longer than needed, including doctors, dentists, sports, school, job interviews even work, now at least 30 plus mins early for everything. My mom is a messy person, and when I was young, my dad would come home from work and get angry and start doing the dishes loudly and kind of shut cabinets loud, etc because he was peed. It sounds a little ridiculous but I have to wash dishes carefully by hand and set them to dry placing them just right. If my wife does the dishes and kinda throws them in the drying rack, I really need a dishwasher. The sound of dishes kinda hitting each other throws me into almost full on panic. I literally have to leave the room and breathe and realize no one is mad, just cleaning the house. I'm 35 years old and I've gotten better with it but it's still a thing. Every time someone raises or moves their arm too fast near me, I flinch because I'm afraid I'm about to get hit in the face. Thanks dad. I had the same reflex up until I started doing martial arts around age 12-13. I think voluntarily being punched kicked and having the ability to respond on equal terms in a controlled environment is what changed things. I've used coconut oil for quite a while for masturbating. I was making an English muffin one morning and realized I was out of butter. I had the brilliant idea to use, previously unopened and still virgin, coconut oil instead. I was delicious, but I got halfway through my muffin and realized I was rock hard. I had a good laugh finished my muffin then made sweet sweet love to myself first i finish this muffin then i finish myself i have a pee song apparently this is unusual it started out when i had a nervous bladder when i was little and i used to run the tap whenever i couldn't go in order to do the whole running water trick your brain into peeing thing that's not exactly convenient sometimes so somehow along the way I trained myself into relaxing by humming a song to myself. After a while, the problem was solved. I was no longer beholden to having a tap or a waterfall or a babbling brook nearby in order to do my business. A couple of bars, and I was raring to go. The problem is that it worked too well. To this day I cannot hear only you by the platters without immediately having to go to the bathroom. The nightmare is real. Don't play Far Cry 5 then. In high school my friend used to make the same loud noise and then punch me in the same spot on my arm really hard. This went on for about a month on a daily basis but at random times. Then he stopped for about a month and I forgot about it. Then one day he made the noise and I flinched and covered my arm. He conditioned me as a prank to make me scared whenever I heard that specific sound. If only he used his powers for good. Immediately jumping to attention, even from a sound sleep. At the first sound of that rhythmic, churning, washing machine noise dogs start to make moments before they find the softest, most absorbent spot in the room and proceed to vomit. At work we sell teddy bears for Saint Jude during the holiday season. Every time we sell a bear, we ring a bell by the register and all the employees are supposed to clap. Today, I was in a crowded restaurant eating lunch with my parents. Someone up front rang a bell, and I automatically started clapping. You have been visited by the romantic doggo. Comment love is magic so you never fall in the friend zone. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.